What if there was one simple idea, a simple model that you could remember to make sure that anytime you're coming up with a marketing plan or a marketing campaign, that you have the critical, most essential elements in place. Not only that, that if you execute this correctly, you have the potential for a gigantic winner that you can then just continue to grow and grow. This book, 8020 Sales and Marketing, it has that model and frankly, it's really simple and I'm going to teach it to you today. Now, uh, when when you think about like what's the one big idea from 80-20 sales and marketing, if you're familiar with the book or familiar with the 80-20 principle, you might think that I'm going to say 80-20. And 80-20 is critically important, yes. Um, and in fact, Perry's innovation in this and the way that he teaches 8020, which is 8020 squared, 8020 cubed, like the fractal nature of 8020 is actually even uh, is even more powerful than 8020 itself. The 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 fundamental basis of the 8020 rule is that there is a a small, disproportionately small number of factors that lead to a disproportionately large number of results. It comes out of uh, the work of an Italian economist, Pareto, who studied that uh, a disproportionately small n number of the uh, people in the Italian population controlled a disproportionately large amount of land. And then from that observation, what happened was that uh, we realized the more it was studied that, uh, that this is the, a law of nature, that inevitably resources and uh, outcomes and results and, and everything is is distributed in a disproportionate way, meaning a, a small amount of something results in, a, it contributes to a big amount of the results. So that's 80-20. And what Perry teaches, the 80-20 squared and 80-20 cubed, is that Within the 80-20, there's an 80-20. So 20% of the 20% is responsible for 80% of the 80% of the results. And I'm not remembering the exact numbers. This might be right, but it's something like 4% of the total is responsible for 56% of the results. 4% of the marketers in a market get 56% of the sales. And then within that, there's even like 0.8% gets... 80% of that 50, 56%. And so it's, it's, it's that an ever smaller number of people are responsible for a bigger portion of, um, of results and tend to attract a bigger portion of business and tend to, tend to, uh, get a bigger portion of resources. So that's, that's the 80, 20 principle in action. And what Perry talked about in this, uh, that actually I think came from Jack Bourne, was his 80-20 power triangle. And that is the like the smallest amount of marketing idea that captures the biggest amount of your marketing challenge, your marketing results. The very smallest amount of marketing strategy that contributes to the largest amount of your marketing outcome. And it's, uh, it's here, it's this triangle here. And you see it's TCE. And TCE stands for traffic, conversion, and economics. And if you can get those three, three, those three things right, if you can get the, uh, the targeted traffic to view your marketing message or the targeted prospects, the targeted leads to view your marketing message, and you can convert them meaning you can get them to take the action that you need them to take. You can get them to make the purchase at the appropriate economics, which has the, the cost of marketing and fulfillment built in, as well as the uh, amount of revenue generated. If you can get those three things working, if you can really strategize how those three things work for your campaign and for your business, you like completely can control your outcome, you can control your results. You can't, you like so much of the entire challenge of marketing is captured in this really, really simple idea. Let me give you an example of a rather big innovation in internet marketing in the last five, 10 years, the funnel. Um, the funnel is basically this idea that you, after someone purchases one thing, they are disproportionately more likely to purchase another thing and another thing and another thing from you. Once you have a buyer, 
they are likely to buy more. If you help someone solve their problem or you present someone with a solution to their problem, they're going to want more from you in the future. Uh, so it used to be that you would get a bunch of traffic to your website and you would convert them. And if you do that at the right, uh, you know, basic economics of I'm, I'm buying a website visitor and that website visitor contributes X amount to revenue. And as long as the, the, um, the revenue is greater than the cost of getting them, everything is great. And typically that was done with one offer. Well, then one day somebody said, well, what if we actually put a second offer behind that first one? And what if we are then willing to spend a little bit more on traffic? Now, the conversion actually in that case didn't need to change that much. In fact, the conversion could go down if there was still decent conversions on the second offer and they would end up with more revenue, more economics in their favor, which then they were able to spend on more traffic, which would generate more conversions at at these economics, more, more uh, traffic conversions economics. And they would go around that circle and they would make sure that as they were adding these additional offers, they were improving their economics so that they could spend more to get a buyer. And what ended up happening is that marketers who understood this principle started completely dominating markets. And what happened is the cost of advertising, the cost of getting visitors, that cost of traffic went up. To, uh, to the point there where today, if you actually don't have multiple offers in place and you're trying to make something work financially in these competitive niches that, that this has become the norm, well, you're going to really struggle to make your economics work out. You're going to really struggle to be able to compete, to put your ads in front of your ideal prospects. You're going to struggle if you don't have all three parts of this worked out. Now, Perry goes deep and he says, you know, there's actually a power triangle inside each element of the power triangle and all of that. And there are lots of different ways that you can apply this. You can apply this on, on like this, this front end idea, but you can also apply it like in the, in the idea of structuring your entire consulting business. If your economics of whatever your consulting sale is or coaching sale is are in your favor, and then you control traffic, meaning the number of people that you put your offer in front of, and you do a good job of converting them, you suddenly have a whole, a whole lot more control over your ability to grow your coaching and consulting business, your ability to go out and get clients. You know, frankly, it, it actually became way easier and uh, more, more pleasurable, more fun to grow my copywriting business when my economics worked out so that it was easier and easier to acquire clients. You know, if you can spend a thousand, two thousand, let's put it this way. If you can spend the two thousand, three thousand, four thousand dollars to go to an event where your ideal clients are because the economics of your offer support that, then it's easy for you to fly to these events, put yourself in front of the traffic, the potential clients, make offers, convert a certain number of them, uh, maybe maybe using the, the type of conversion systems that I've, I've taught through Breakthrough Marketing Secrets, and, and suddenly it becomes so much easier to get clients, like when you are actually able to invest in yourself. And cl these clients, you investing in yourself, and so they're happy to then invest in you, invest in your services. Like all of this has applications far beyond like AdWords where, where uh, Perry became famous. So. Pretty cool. Um, I, I actually have a, a kind of crazy story from the last couple of weeks about Perry. Um, but first, I want to say that if you like this content, if you like this video, make sure that you do actually like the video. Click the like button, leave a comment, share how you might apply this or any new perspectives on 8020 or uh, or traffic conversion and economics that you got out of this. Share the video with anybody who you think might find value from it and be sure to subscribe. You can subscribe to my videos. You can also go to BreakthroughMarketingSecrets.com and subscribe for more tips for marketer entrepreneurs, copywriters, anybody involved with direct response who wants to live a happier, healthier, more prosperous and impactful life through the marketing that they put out into the marketplace. Um, and I'd love to have you join me uh, because I see it as, as a mission, as a movement to help as many marketer entrepreneurs and high achievers as possible uh, achieve the business that they want that creates the impact that they want. And I do that through uh, effective proven marketing advice. Now, the story about Perry here. So uh, you may know that I do improv acting. I do improv comedy. And 
we had a show between Christmas and New Year's and uh, and we're getting ready for the show, getting all set up in the venue and um, in through the door actually walks Perry Marshall. And he says, hi, Roy, uh, you you may not know that Perry is actually from Lincoln, Nebraska, where I'm from. He lives in Chicago now. His business is in Chicago. But his his brother, Brian Todd, who is also a co-author for some of his work. Well, Brian uh, actually lives in Lincoln and recently through Fates uh, ended up a member of my improv group. He had signed up for improv and got selected. And actually, he's probably better at improv than I am. I really enjoy watching him perform. Uh, but but Perry happened to be in town visiting family. And Brian had the show. And they came to the show. And it was super cool to see Perry. And Perry and I go back uh, actually quite a few years at this point. And uh, so it was nice to see him. Nice to see a friend in the industry and also somebody whose work I like super recommend and have gotten into really heavily and who has actually influenced me since my very earliest days when I was running AdWords for the IT training publisher that I worked with. It was Perry's book and the advice in Perry's book and Brian's book where I took, they were spending $30,000 a month to get $30,000 in, in sales. And I found ways to cut that down to 15,000 a month, 15,000 a month and increase sales to 45,000 a month uh, using really just like a tip or two from Perry's books. It was, it was uh, really powerful and it was a big win for me. Um, and so I, I cherish that, that relationship at this point. Um, so with that, I, I, I will say, I, strongly recommend you get 80-20 sales and marketing. I'm actually connected with Perry. Uh, and so I have a an affiliate link. Um, so I get paid if you if you buy through the link, but actually it's a better deal than if you get it on Amazon. Uh, it's It costs a penny plus the cost of shipping to get 80-20 sales and marketing through the link in the description. And uh, Perry also has a number of bonuses that are not available through Amazon, uh, where you get that by clicking the link and getting the book for a penny plus the cost of shipping there. Uh, so strongly encourage you to check that out. Again, I'm Roy Fur. This is a video issue of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets where I share one big idea from a from a, a marketing copywriting business book that was impactful to me and that I hope will be impactful to you. Hopefully, I'm sharing it in a way where you can apply it immediately. Uh, so with that, I look forward to seeing you again in your next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.